But this one here is special, and it was sent to us by one of our Transformers fans. Mm. Uh, mm. Transformer cheerleader, 25, given assault citation after choking out a teammate who called her a man with a penis. By the way, he choked a minor. She's 17. At cheer camp, as video taken afterwards shows the attacker saying, I barely touched her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And by the way, you can totally tell that these are not photoshopped pictures in any way, shape, or form. Oh, no, like, yeah. Like the Look face, the skin tone of the face totally matches the rest of the body. The bow stands out so much <laughs> over the deep fakeness that it looks like it's photoshopped. Listen, I, I'm sorry if, if my daughter was choked out by an adult. Uh, oh. that, that dude would be, uh, I don't care if the dude's calling himself a chick, it, it's on. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm sorry. And this dude tried to pass it off as a joke. Choking a 17-year-old girl. Totally a joke. Yep. Yeah. I, I, I'm not even kidding around, man. I'm pretty sure that's not going to hold up in court. Oh, my God. Look at the one on the right. Oh, um, my. Yeah, these are totally shopped. Yeah, yeah totally. I have seen Snapchat filters that are more subtle than this. Dude, it literally looks like they took a woman's face and, like, posted it plastered it on top <laughs> it's like beyonce's face on shaq's body <laughs> wow. now are these oh, is this no. cheerleading for a high school or is this like a semi-pro team what is it uh my guess it's cheer camp oh, so oh. high school cheer camp and i'm guessing this person was one of the instructors oh no a college cheer camp after they allegedly tacked a teammate mm. called her a man with a penis is it 25 though 25 25 i mean i don't know uh that seems a little old for this. Uh, you know, you're just regular. College. Hey, I've got an idea on how to make the WNBA sell out every single game. Uh, you know what? I'm sure that the WNBA would love to know. Bring it. Bring it. What is it? Okay, so check it out. This is what we do. We bring Michael Jordan out of retirement. We bring everybody out of retirement. And by the, when they hit 40 years old, they have to now they're uh, eligible. Uh, el eligible to play for the WNBA now. Mm -hmm. So we bring Michael Jordan back, Shaq, all of them. And um, and they play in the WNBA now, and I tell you what, tickets would sell out. I think that um, you know every all those guys would still break a lot of records and be dunking on those chicks, and uh, it'd be a great entertainment. You know, I think it'd be great. There are very few basket female basketball players that can dunk. Yeah, and one of them is in jail in Russia. <laughs> Yeah. Well, <laughs> not anymore. Didn't they do some sort of a no. swap trade? Like, they're talking about it. They're talking about swapping out like a Russian arms trader or some shit for this? Yeah. Ar uh, for this piece dealer. of shit who knelt for the national yeah. anthem and said America was shit until suddenly she needed America's help. Yeah, she can rot there. And then she cried out in Barry White's disembodied voice, I need help. Somebody save me. What the hell? Yeah, and I'm actually working on another video. Um where I'm getting the, act, the costs of running an actual stadium. Mm -hmm. um, we're talking the lights, heat, air conditioning, maintenance. And typically on a 65000 to to $100,000 stadium, it's ballpark figure. It's like half a million a year. Okay. All right. Now, the average number of seats that the WNBA sells is right around 2,000 seats. That's it? Per game? Per or? game. Okay. <laughs> so it's not even worth the cost to heat or cool the stadium, turn the fucking lights on, run the bathrooms, turn on the water, and get the goddamn, you know, licky, chewy fucking, <laughs> you know, booths up and running. <laughs> licky, chewy booths. Well, yeah, that's where you get all your chips and your your corn dogs and whatever, it, it and sounds, your beer. Yeah. Uh, but the cornholes, it's the cornhole of the games. Yeah, I'm just saying, cornhole or glory hole. Either and, way, and, it all sounds like it fits. And like, no pun intended. These women are screaming. We want to get paid the same as men, even though the NBA is heavily subsidizing the WNBA. They wouldn't exist without the That's NBA. There'd be no money in it. Right. Well, t there is no money in it now. Yeah. There is no 2,000 asses and seats per game. It's not worth it. Minor league hockey games get more asses yes, and seats they do. than that. Yeah. All day long. 
Hell, damn! I went with my buddy Sport to go watch the World Series of Little League Baseball. Do you know how many people were in the stands? 21,000 people. And they had sold the television rights. They were making bank, and it was just kids in the fucking Little League playing fucking baseball. Now, listen, wow. they were fucking good. And I would, I, listen, this could be embarrassing, <laughs> but those 11 and 12-year-old kids, little boys, could probably beat female baseball players all day long. Well, yeah, we, we've seen evidence of this yes. over in, and over again. In soccer. Yep. Um. In, in, in high school, right? Uh, the varsity girls basketball team would play the eighth graders and seventh graders um, boys basketball teams, and they would lose all the time. Yep. Yep. My brothers played. Them. I remember that, and I was like, why are the varsity girls losing to, like, I'm going, man, they must really fucking suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not that they suck. It's the fact when you try to have them play against men, they do. They, they look like they suck. They, yeah. Well, right. You will because to their abilities. I mean, for thousands <laughs> of years, well, men and women have done a division of labor, and they usually divide along shit they're good at. Yeah, and it worked until about you know, sixty years ago. Until the succubi came along and decided that science was sexist. Yes. And we have to rethink our traditional gender norms. And now certain demographics are knocking out kids 75% out of wedlock and crime's going through the roof. Gee, I wonder who we can blame for that. Absolutely correct. Well, I self identify as a biologist. And so, therefore, I'm a bearded lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> and that gives you permission to scissor on the air. I like it. <laughs> Uh, sorry yeah, but, about but that. The, I know it's graphic and all. But That's the thing totally. is, is there's going to be a huge backlash against the confused Poles and Holes community. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, this can only go on for so long. Yeah, and especially when you start involving our children. Yes. And listen, you, I, I do not, no. not want to see that. No. I want to see us be able to control this and, and, and just simmer it all down before it blows the top off of the pressure cooker and there's all kinds of fucking casualties. Mm -hmm. Have you guys read the gay manifesto that was put into gr congressional record in 1987? Nope. No. Okay, so if you read the gay manifesto, uh, I can, I'll send it to you, Blake. On, on, um, I'll, I'll send a text to you or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, the gay manifesto go, describes exactly what they were going to do, and they did it. They infiltrated the Boy Scouts, they infiltrated mm -hmm. everywhere, and turned it into, you know what, sodomy yep. and stuff, right? Sodom yeah. and Gomorrah. Send it to um, our email. Send, yeah. send that it to our email, redonkless12gmail.com. That's very interesting. Yeah. And we can do a whole show on that. In 1987, it should have been Frontline News, and it describes exactly how they're going to do it in TV shows and men's places. Boy Scouts, churches, everything. They said that they're going to infiltrate everything and turn it into all the bad stuff. Like, no, yep. no joke. So I'll send it to y'all. Yep. Yep. And when you see this, I mean, you can't argue with the results. No, I, 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 <laughs> listen, if, like, this is a, a fucking cheer camp. Yeah. I dropped my child off there. Granted, she's a teenager, late teenager, 17, 18, 19. And then... One day I get a phone call that, you know, some dude dressed up like a chick choked my kid out. It, it, there, there's, there is no way you're going to talk me down from not, I'm going to tool that motherfucker up bad. Right. I'm not having that. All right. Now, I'm a, uh, listen, I'm a, I'm a calm person. But if you fucking push my buttons to the point where I want to set up on you, you are fucked. <laughs> you really are. And Pop, you should that. protect your daughters like that. That's uh, the way a dad is supposed to be. Yeah, I know. Exactly. And listen, there are millions of men out there just like me who served in the military, want to live their fucking life, want to be left alone. That's all we want. We just want to be left alone. And when it comes to a point where those people, they say, you know what? It's time to do some shit. You, people are going to be screaming for them to stop because 
it's going to be epic. Yeah. Because listen, yeah. uh, there's only so many times people are going to listen to their kids getting brainwashed, groomed, mm-hmm. assaulted, what ha- killed, what have you. Yeah. Right. You, you know what it reminds me of? You ever see that movie with uh, Gerard Butler back in the day, Law Abiding Citizen? Yes. He was a dude who just wanted to be left alone. And that dude and, was a fucking super yeah. genius. And he trusted the system and the system failed him and he rained down vengeance on everyone who fucked him. He died at the end, but hey. Yeah. That ain't him. Yeah. But, you know, hey, when just, you want to go for pushing. revenge, you, bit, you dig two graves. Just saying. Just just keep pushing. Just saying. All right. Sorry <sighs> about that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, welcome to our Drag Queen Story Hour, ladies and germs. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribe Star.